you know what human women had to go through to get the right to vote? Yeah, and it's not going to take newcomers 100 years. Amending the U.S. Constitution isn't exactly a walk in the park. It's been done before. Resistance to tyranny is obedience to God. Mom's really into Susan B. Anthony. She was quite a woman. As a matter of fact, Mr. Parker designed a lot of this campaign after the women's suffrage movement. Jesse. Yeah. Well, at least it's an upward trend, Bill. Thanks. I gotta run. You two, keep me plugged in. What's up, Wyatt? These are the Franciscos. Susan and Buck. <laughs> Wyatt's told me all about you and your husband. Oh, uh, well, Mr. Parker, Buck and I are volunteering our time, not my husband's. Mrs. Francisco, we need people like you in the trenches, canvassing the neighborhoods, stuffing the mailers. But more importantly, we need sound bites and column inches. Well, I think of George as more than a column inch. Don't take my young colleague's enthusiasm wrong. Your husband's a respected city official, Mrs. Francisco. And he's for ratification. You want him to hold a news conference? I can get him to do it. Fuck. We'd like him to speak out with his captain, some other human detectives, get the police force pushing for us. Count on it. I'll deliver him. Fuck, you can't speak for your father. I'll talk to him. We'll make available prepared copy, a media consultant, anything that'll make him more comfortable. OK, OK. <laughs> I'll see. <sighs> Lee Knox, if every state committee is working as hard as this one, I can't see how we won't get the vote. You even got the pod bouncing around. So when's the ejection date? Uh, in a little less than a month. <clears throat> I think I'm starting to lock, but is Buck, would you go out to the car and get me my wood chip? Sure. I can help you with some squat thrusts until he gets back. You sound like a man who's gone through this. Our first is due in a month. I've already started massaging my ling pod flap. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. All right, everybody, we've got another one. Oh, what's going on? Bomb scare. That's the third this week. We do have some opposition, please. Everyone's out. What's the word on the bomb squad? Half hour, maybe more. It takes them that long to respond to an emergency? Well, they had other emergencies. That's ridiculous. So we just have to stand out here till they have somebody check it out? Tell you what, why don't I go inside and get some pamphlets? We can get you started on some canvassing. Wyatt, we'll wait for the fire department. Look, we both know this is another purist hoax. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, there's Purist on the phone. He's the same guy who called last couple times? I would say so. Raspy voice, clipped his words. Yes. What exactly did he say? Well, he identified himself as a member of the United Purist Party, stated his opposition to the voting amendment, and said a bomb would explode within the hour. That's it. No, have a nice day. Do you support the Purist Party? Hell no. Just make bad jokes. What's the matter, Buck? Oh, it's a real fun neighborhood. It's the kind we have to canvas. Middle class, mixed religiously, ethnically. They're a key cross-section. And they lean a little bit towards the negative? I'll take it personally. It's not us that they hate. It's just our species. Oh, boy, that's a relief. Come on, I'll grab the van. We'll round up the troops and grab some lard tips. Hang on, I want to hit one more. Hey, what are you doing? Trying to hustle me? Don't make eye contact. Just keep walking towards the van, all right? What's going on? Just keep walking. I'm going to tell them we're moving on. We don't want any trouble. You think they're going to jump us? It's happened before. Just wait here, right? Is there a problem? May I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, you can help us. You can help us by getting in the car. Wait a minute, can oh, we don't just... have time to wait, Swag. Oh, stop. Wait a minute. Stop. Wait a minute. Swag. Oh, yeah. Get in the Wait, wait. No, Wyatt! Oh. Oh. 